Nick Hilkes, that's how I understand West Ham fan TV. What a win, Mike. Oh, what a performance. What yeah. a performance from start to finish. I mean, uh, there's only one, I thought, one kink in our armour today, from the, obviously from the start. When I saw Winston Reid starting, I thought to myself, he's not been that good this season. And I thought, why didn't he go with the same defence against uh, Man City? Because I thought we were good. See, Winston Reid's, I'm not going to say better player, but more experienced player than Declan Rice. But to a man, I thought, Oh, fan, absolutely fantastic performance today. From the word go, everyone chasing, everyone put, getting their foot in, everyone, there was a lot of um, cohesion, I think, between the players. And I think there was a lot of togetherness. Um, they were, everyone was just fighting for each other. Everyone wanted the ball, you know? I mean, tactically, I think Moyes got it spot on today. Couldn't have been, on out of it, just for the best game I think that's the best game so far in our season. So far. Our season so far, that's our best game that I've seen. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. But Not because it's against Chelsea, <coughs> but because of the way that we played. Because of the way that we set up. The way that we... Is that the Moyes effect, Mike? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, all these people that are writing him off already. Like, my friend sitting next, sat next to me saying to me, oh, you know, that Muppet in charge. And you were thinking, like, who are you talking about before the game's even kicked off? Yeah. And that's unfair, and I think you need to give him time yeah. because anyone new that comes in, unless you're Sam Allardyce, uh, you, you need time to stamp your authority and make your mark on the team. Now, the problem was, obviously, we had... I mean, I'm so glad that he made the massive decision in dropping Joe Hart. It took balls to do that. Really, really took balls to do that. All the players that I saw play out there today, including Noble... Really, Noble looks reinvigorated. Really look reinvigorated. I mean, I have criticised him in the past, but Masaraku out there, what, what, brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. I mean, we closed down Chelsea. Chelsea did have their chances. I thought Chelsea, Chelsea were quite profligate in front of goal. It didn't take their chances. They either played, it was like, it was a bit like the first half against Man City, where they were playing sort of one pass too many, and then the ball would go out of play, or the ball would go out for a goal kick, or whatever. But we were, out. yeah, and we were really, really making the most of when we had the ball, even without the ball, I think we were good. I mean, obviously, as you know, heard you saying a couple of minutes ago, I mean, I saw the possession stats. They were about 70-30 in, in Chelsea's favour. Now, for us to be able to hold them off when we scored after, I mean, I thought when we scored after six, seven minutes, but how are we going to do this for the rest of the game? But I actually thought we were unlucky not to have gone on and scored more than one yeah. because I thought we had more than enough chances to score more than one in that. But as I say, I think... Tactically, I think he got the tactics spot on today. You, there's no one player in that side today that you could say he had someone a rubbish should have game. Maybe instead of him or Yeah, someone. I mean, yeah. even like I saw some like say, what should we call them unorthodox tackles or challenges by, well, no, not unorthodox, but ones that you look at and you think, how did he win the ball there? Like Obiang quite a few times and even. Uh, even uh, I was thinking that was a Chelsea fan, so I was trying to work out what he was saying. Um, no, even like Obiang to like getting his foot in, in like even like back healing like tackles and stuff, and like just brilliant stuff. Even Lanzini, like full of running today, yeah. And you could see that the fitness levels today were back to where they need to be, really back to where they need to be. I mean, we've beaten, we've just beaten, no, make no bones about it, they're a world class side, Chelsea, they are. They're current Premier League champions, you know, and we've Champions we've, League. Well, when they're Champions League, exactly. You know, they look at it as little old West Ham. When you know, when we started, and like my friend was saying next to me, he was saying they ain't done the cup for it, and all the people were saying they they done the cup for it. As I say, the only worry was the fact that we scored so early on that I was thinking, and how are we going to hold out here? Gear, yeah, and yeah. I was thinking that the ball's only got to come out to to Hazard or to you know um, one of their players that can that are capable of hitting a long shot and that's what we restricted them to I think today we restricted them to long shots and we actually made them make their substitutions very early on as well in the second half it's good that we didn't make any substitutions at the start of the second half because if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah. but all we wanted to see from our players was fight determination passion and you saw, you saw all of those out there today. And I the mean, result follows. And the result. And that really sets us up very nicely for Arsenal on Wednesday now. I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to come here and win again, but, you know, you know. well, you never know. We're, we're West Give Ham. Give us more of a we're, chance. Look, and we're West Ham yeah. after all. I'm, I'm smiling. We've just beaten Chelsea. And, like, you know, we all go away and have a good weekend. Brilliant. So, Mike, thank you very much. Thanks.